Good morning and welcome to the morning coffee with John Plassard. Today I'm focusing on a little known but very important subject, remittances. If in the few first months of the coronavirus pandemic, global remittances drop sharply, the reason is that the remittances send, sent by foreign immigrants from all over the world to their families in their home country have been sharply reduced. Data shows that remittances in some countries in Latin America are now rebounding fast. In new data collected by Pew Research Center, countries like Mexico, Colombia, and Guatemala are once again sending more remittances in 2020 than during the same time in 2019. Mexico saw a 9% increase in remittances from June, for June, while the Dominican Republic saw a surge of 26% for the same months. Many of these countries experienced double-digit declines in remittances for April and May, with El Salvador dropping by 40% in April. The size of the remittances sent back to these countries came from the United States, where the return of work allowed the world's largest immigrant population to continue to make money and repatriate. Remittances have prompted an influx of funds from many Latin America countries. Mexico received nearly $20 billion in just a few months from January to June this year. This subject is very important, as some studies found that, on average, a 1% increase in remittance flow provokes around 0.25 rise in per capita GDP and a 2% decline in poverty severity. Remittances seems to have produced a significant reduction on poverty through increasing income and smoothing consumption level. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Read my morning and keep on winning.